No way. Jeremy Zimmer labels Meg untalented after her begging to work for his agency, famous through royalty. The Duchess of Sussex has been dismissed as a talentless broadcaster by one of Hollywood's most powerful figures, Jeremy Zimmer, who has guided the film careers of stars such as Benedict Cumberbatch and Damian Lewis, gave his withering verdict on the abilities of the American former actress after streaming giant Spotify axed its 18 million pound deal with her and Prince Harry after just one series. Zimmer, the chief executive of United Talent Agency, said he was not surprised that Spotify had ditched the couple. Turns out Meghan Markle was not a great audio talent, or necessarily any kind of talent at all. Speaking to the news website Semaphore at the Cannes Lion Advertising Festival in France, Zimmer added, And you know, just because you're famous doesn't make you great at something. Spotify is said to have pulled the plug on its deal because it expected more content from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their Oshawa audio team, according to Variety magazine. Archwell delivered just one series, 12 episodes of Megan's Archetype show last year on the social stereotype around women and a 30-minute festival special in 2020 featuring a handful of celebrity friends and their son Archie. Archetypes was an initial writing success when it was released last summer and talks for a second series were set to be underway before they reportedly stalled. Spotify was said to have paid a staggering £18 million to sign the Sussexes up for a multi-year partnership. The Sussexes highlighted a joint statement from themselves and Spotify saying that they had mutually agreed to part ways. Yesterday, it was claimed that pop superstar Taylor Swift rejected the chance to appear on Meghan's podcast, even though the Duchess sent her a personal invitation. After Meghan sent her a handwritten note, Ms. Swift declined through her representative, according to the Wall Street Journal. And while the couple's £80 million Netflix deal has still seen only a documentary about themselves and series Live to Lead materialize, it appears they are about to delve into the world of Charles Dickens. The, success- the Sussexes are said to be working on a prequel to his 1861 novel Great Expectations, which focuses on a character based on Miss Havisham taking place before the events of the novel. Bad Manners will see the character cast as a strong woman living in a patriarchal society. The show is in development, but has yet to get the green light from Netflix, it has been claimed. Harry's documentary about the Invictus Games is thought to be nearing completion, and according to the Wall Street Journal, it is unlikely Netflix will renew the couple's deal when it ends in 2025. It reports that problems have arisen due to the couple's inexperience as television producers and difficulty in finding material to fit in with their brand. A spokesman for the talent agency WME that recently signed Megan said, The team behind Archetypes remain proud of the podcast they created at Spotify. Megan is continuing to develop more content for the Archetypes audience on another platform. Zimmer is the grandson of legendary Hollywood studio chief Dory Zachary. In 1991, he helped find United Talent Agency through a merger of Bauer, Benedict, and Leading Artists Agency. He helped build UTA from a boutique literary agency into one of the three major talent agencies and has been CEO since 2012. The talent agency represents stars such as Timothy Chalamet, Chris Pratt, Kevin Hart, and Lizzo. 